Pintern, it is so good to see you again. I know it has been far too long, but I was caught up with very many projects. Oh dear, and why is everyone so unhappy here? Not entertained enough, what? Come on, watch the antics. Watch the antics of the saber-toothed tiger that's dancing this mascot. Be entertained. Which reminds me, we should bring our saber-toothed tiger over to the zoo. That would be amazing. Is she going to be entertained? Let's see. Celebrating. She's celebrating. She's watching. Ah, she's very, very stubborn when it comes to being amused. We'll have to see what we can do for her. But good morning, intern. So I am so excited to see you. I apologize for being gone for so long. I was caught up in very, very many projects for doing administrative tasks for the zoo. Boring, boring, boring paperwork. Piles and piles of it. But guess what? Everything is functioning better than ever now. And why can't I? Oh, yep. Okay, I can walk through there. It just is a little bit wonky donkey. But hopefully that means that all the guests will be able to walk through here too. It's a very cute entrance. Ah, oh, and I'm so glad that things seem to be calming down. We still have so much to do in this zoo. We still need, oh, I love it when the kids play on the little playground. That's so awesome. What's up, Mr. Gorilla? You have the wrong number of fingers. <laughs> All right, but we need to see what needs taken care of here in the zoo. Like, let's see, unable to reach branch. Oh my gosh, like the, the barren ground caribou population is way out of hand. We definitely need to kind of take care of this a little bit. Really, I don't think it'll hurt to just like randomly select, especially some of the males, and adopt them out. There we go, and some of the females too. There you go. There you go, guys. We're just gonna gently separate the herd because holy moly days, there's a lot of you. All right, anybody else? Yeah? All right, let's remove you, and let's send you out, and let's send you out. And that should gently take care of the barren ground caribou for a little bit, because wow, that was a lot of barren ground caribou. And there's still so many babies. Atlantic Puffin 7 is really thirsty. My dear, that's because you are like trapped in the fence. Let's move you where you belong, little one. Can't we reach water filter number 10. Okay, there's, oh, Marzipan the second has just given birth to new, new fox cubs. Yay! Where is she? Marzipan. Marzipan. There she is. There she is. Oh my goodness, look at these little ones. What a beautiful sight, just hanging out in the flowers here. Wow, there's a lot of foxes too. Whoops. Can't reach Hourglass Dolphin 27. Uh, Willow just likes being in such a smelly exhibit. Why? Let's see. Well, Willow, hang on, hang on. Okay, 24. <gasps> What's going on here? That is not where dolphins belong. Okay, we've got to. Okay, hang on, hang on, little one. What were you doing out of your exhibit? You are a water creature. You belong in the water. Red Eye Tree Frog is really thirsty. What is going on over here? Bambi just likes being in such a small exhibit. Well, good morning, intern. As usual, we are chaotically busy and taking care of everyone in the zoo, but that's just fine. We've got to do these things to make sure that everyone in the zoo is properly taken care of. Uh, like our frogs, who continually complain about not having enough room in their exhibit. So let's come in here. We're kind of going to make things a little bit more even for them. I think this is really going to help, too, having flattened it like that. And then let's see, what else do they need? So they need more water. Uh, I think they just can't really reach. Okay, these are empty. No wonder they need more water. What is up with my zookeepers? They just won't come in here for some reason. So let's fill up this water really quickly. Okay, there we go. Oops, all right. All right, let's wait for the water to fill up. That's good. You can reach the insects. It's okay, little one. Let's scoot the insects down here, and then let's put some of these, these little flower fern, these very pretty, like, ferns that just match so well with the theme that we've got going on in here. Alright, over here, and then let's put some more monstras. No, not that kind. <laughs> I want the green ones! Give me green! Yes, nice bright green ones! In fact, I think there's some bigger varieties we should put in here. Let's see if there's bigger varieties of these guys. And this is important for our red-eyed tree frogs in turn. I can see you rolling your eyes. It's like, oh no, zookeeper series back on the plants. But it's actually very important to make sure that we have lots and lots of variety of plants. And I am going to beat that 
into your head by repeating it until you just want to like roll your eyes at it, which you probably already are doing. All right, we're gonna have to fix the biome in just a second, but let's finish putting the plants down. Then we'll fix the fussy, fussy biome. All right, ooh, the pitcher plant, that would be a fun one to make sure it eats any of the extra bugs that the frogs don't. So let's put down some pitcher plants. And then let's see, what else do we have in here? Because we haven't really updated uh, the frog exhibit since we have gotten more stars and access to more internationally renowned greenhouses. Gotta love it when we get more access to the, the greenhouses that are a little bit more famous. Oh, ooh, an international lady fern there, hmm. All right, let's see, I believe the valley, we don't need that. Wetlands log, big giant log. Well, useful, maybe a small wetlands log for the froggies. Um, let's see, more of those, there they are. See, I knew we had some of these big ones in here. And that's all we need, is just a little bit there. Oh, why are you unhappy? Child, why are you unhappy? The red-eyed tree frog needs something to drink. Don't worry, we're on it, we're solving it. We're also solving the issue of it having like the right kind of plants and the right kind of, um, where's this one? <gasps> That's so cute, it's even smaller than the others, but we're okay, we have enough plants in here now, except for we need more, more toadstools. Don't judge me in turn. It's because where there's water and humidity, there's going to be mushrooms. So we're gonna sprinkle a few more around there. Nice, nice, okay, good. Maybe one more tree fern over here. It's sticking out a little bit, but we can live with that. Plants everywhere. Okay. Poor poor little tree frogs. Okay, maybe I'll remove- Okay, don't judge me in turn. I'm removing a few of them. Whoa! When I said a few of them, I didn't mean a whole chunk. I meant like, you know, a few. Back. Let's scooch around. I think these plants are what are kind of causing the biggest of problems for them to be able to reach everything. So that should really help. And let's get the right kind of little grass, mossy, mossy, mossy grass spread around. We need the montane rainforest. Ta-da! And that way people will be able to see them. Thank goodness. So there we go. All right, let's see how that does. Do we now have happier frogs and thus a happier child? Hang on, Susan. Hang on. She's like investigating it now too. She's like, is this good enough? Is this good enough for the frogs? What do you think, Susan? Come on, frogs. Come on. Come on, little ones. Okay, okay, they're moving around now. They're happy. They seem to be embracing the fact that they can find food. Uh oh, we still have an unhappy frog. Why? Why, my dear? Red eye tree frog number five, why are you being so stubborn? Where are you, my dear? I can't see you. Maybe that's an indicator that I should remove a few more things. Aha, there she is, she was eating, I found her. All right, let's get her. Now where are you going, my dear? No, 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 you need a drink. Come over here and get a drink. Don't poop, get a drink. What about you? Are you ready for, there's, there's water right over here, you guys. What's up with this? Here, it's right there. Okay, now she recognizes that there's water here. My gosh. All right, let's heal him up. Rub some gentle antibiotic ointment on our little on our little frogs. There, that's what I want to see. Good frog drinking. Thank you very much. So that should be a much happier, healthier frog. So let's see what else. Let's see, fix the macaw, maybe too close to the bananas. We'll fix the macaws in just a little bit because we do have to uh, ship a few of them out. Can't reach the poop. Uh, wow, there's still a lot of caribou. There's still so many caribou. Oh my goodness. In fact, I kind of want to convert the caribou exhibit into something else and maybe just keep a couple caribou. Intern. Intern. Penguins can't fly, in turn. What are we looking at? We're looking at flying penguins. I am stunned. I'm... This is one unique penguin, in turn. This penguin is flying, in turn. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, we're just gonna... Let's watch it. But okay, there we go. And it's, like, diving back in. Emperor Penguin 28. 
I am now going to name you, um, geez, like Flying Penguin. We're just gonna go with Flying Penguin, and we'll come up with, come up with a better name because we just witnessed the flight of this Emperor Penguin. We caught you. You were in the air. You were high in the air, sir. We caught you. I know it, what you can do. That. That was amazing. That can make us internationally famous! So we're gonna have to uh, do a little bit more research on that, that's for sure. Alright, so we still got complaints about the bananas over here, but they can wait because it's not like super critical. I think everybody else is doing pretty darn okay right now. We'll just keep an eye on, on what we're hearing in terms of fussy fussness. How's the three bean the three bears the three beans cafe? <laughs> the three bears cafe doing? Ooh, netting wonderful lifetime profits. That's good. American Beaver 33 has died of old age. So we really need to like redo a ton of the exhibits because we haven't really touched them. Okay, can't reach water filter one. That's fine. I'm on it. All right, let's get down here, intern. Lemming Nomer is really hungry. No lemmings for you, Lemming Nomer. All right, clean that filter. In fact, let's go ahead and we'll see if we can... Uh, actually, I'm kind of nervous about trying to flatten the land over here, to be honest. So we'll leave that be for now. Hmm. And you know, intern, I, I'm surprised that there are not more people fascinated by our hourglass dolphins. They are not exactly a common species. They are so super duper rare, and yet people are totally not coming back here anymore. There's just a few, like, hungry souls wandering this way. Some place for me to sit down. The zoo isn't amusing enough for me. I think we need to spruce up this entire area. Because I really feel like oh, that'll have to be a project that we might do in a little bit, though, because we do have a lot of work to do. Is that trash can? That trash can's not that dirty, actually. Hmm. Hmm. And our flying penguins. There's just, there's no, nobody back here either. So, you know what? I think it is time to put our woolly rhinoceros and our saber-toothed cat over here as well. Um... It's just, you know, it's, it's gotten, gotten to that point in the zoo. Uh, what I think we're going to do, and maybe a polar bear. So I, what I think we're going to do is we're going to mark off this area. And we'll put in, uh, like we'll make this space maybe where we have a couple of the big carnivores. So we could split this into two exhibits and have the big carnivores in here. And then I think we'll turn this into a different kind of exhibit for a different animal. And then I think we will expand this area, like this, maybe even make it so people can maybe ride a jeep tour or a sky tram or something through it. And we'll make it a mixed penguin, caribou, woolly rhinoceros, big area, uh, which I think would be pretty good. In fact, we might even be able to get like maybe a mammoth. No, we would need a lot of space for a mammoth, actually. <laughs> we'll have to think about it. But we're, we're going to redo the penguin exhibit because we apparently have flying penguins. So that's more than slightly amazing. And the caribou, yeah, I think we'll, we'll put something else in here. Maybe we'll put the Smilodon in here, the big saber-toothed cat. And we can put, like, a polar bear or the, the short-faced bear was amazing. We could put that over here. It probably wouldn't need too much space either because it, it naps a lot. So yeah, there's lots of options for what we're going to do over here. We need to spice it up because we have this one lone guy, Felipe. Let's follow Felipe. Maybe we can analyze what we need to do at the zoo by following Felipe for a minute. He's got the beaver hat on. So we know beaver hat, our beavers are, are being quite attractive. <gasps> there's another child over here. Okay. Get the trash can all clean. What do you want to see, young child? Let's analyze their thoughts so we can figure out. Okay, he was looking for ice cream. <laughs> so the kid showed up all the way over here, I think, for ice cream. Ah, I see a flying penguin drink from the food dish. So clearly this man, Felipe, is a fan of hearing about how we have a rare flying penguin in our zoo. So it looks like that. Okay, and the arch entertained this kid. So we know the arches are entertaining. So we'll increase the number of arches around here after we like redesign it maybe. All right, so Dave is entertained. Where's Felipe? Felipe? Felipe! Oh, who's this? No, not the silver fur. Raymond. Okay, so he doesn't like where the, the ground caribou are. And he's just kind of like wandering around over here. So, hmm. 
Oh, Marzipan the second just died of old age, even though she just had her babies. Aww. Argos Dolphin 8 is very old and will not live much longer. <laughs> it's so sad when the animals get that old. What is this? Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby caribou. I was like, what are you? All right, well, let's check out the caribou as well. Oh my gosh, you are cute. Maybe if we had like a petting zoo and we had some of the, the caribou in a petting zoo over here, this would entertain people. So we could put a petting zoo over here, maybe. Or like a pony ride. You could ride caribou. You know, humanely. Here you go, guys. You guys have been good. They've been so good. So let's go ahead and put down some carrots for them, I think. I think they would enjoy some carrots. Hmm. Actually, in turn, it appears that barren ground caribou have absolutely no interest in carrots or apples. So we'll just go ahead and give them another salt lick. Let's see how they like it. Oh my goodness, there's so many babies! Look at all the barren ground caribou babies! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, look at everybody coming for the salt lick! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was a popular choice. Oh my goodness, it's like, oh my goodness, the whole herd is coming! I'm serious, it actually would be really fun to like, have a little, like, pony riding thing, or some sort of little, um, like, petting zoo area for the caribou. I, I, Pretty sure we have the permits for those kinds of things. I just have to see if we do or not. Let's see. Come on. All right, intern. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let's see. That is the ed extinct education center, which I would not mind building because we do. Uh, we're gonna start adding in like our Smilodon again and the woolly rhino, so it would be good for the kids to know about that. Compost building, staff center, the play dig pit. Uh, that's the discovery kiosk, which is really cool. Touch pool. There we go. A pony ride. And we can swap out the ponies. So instead of ponies, it would be caribou. I think that would be kind of interesting to try out. So let's do a little bit of research into that. And while that is going by, I really feel like we need to redo our penguin area. I want to turn this area into like a different kind of animal's habitat. And I kind of want to like widen the penguin exhibit just a wee bit and you know move make it multi-species more than just penguins and puffins uh, yeah like maybe just have a couple a couple groups of caribou because this is way so many caribou uh, over here and maybe like our our woolly rhinos wandering around perhaps Hmm, Emperor Penguin 25 dislikes being in such a smelly exhibit, which is pretty darn impressive considering we have a million and one uh, different kinds of <laughs> like filters on this aquarium. So it would be probably a good idea to reduce the numbers a little bit anyway. Scooping all that poop, making sure the fish are where they belong. Look at all the fish! So many fish! Hello, little puffin. I saw some poop. Oh, that's not poop. That's an egg. It's an egg intern. Isn't that exciting? I love it when we find the little eggs. Hello, egg. How are you? Oh, is this a puffin coming to check out its egg? Very fun. Very fun. Zookeeper, what are you coming over here for? To check out the egg? Don't walk on it. Oh, she's popping out. Okay. Hello, little egg. How are you? What are you? Let's analyze it gently. Is, it, is that mama penguin? It's a penguin egg. Oh, we would have to really be very careful to make sure all the penguin eggs uh, got returned. But it would kind of be fun to make like an island in the center out of land where the penguins could come up and eat their fish. And hopefully putting the penguins up on land, like encouraging them to go to their island, would mean that they wouldn't put their eggs over where the, <laughs> the freaking woolly rhino would be walking around. Because that would be bad. That would be very bad in turn. But all right, to try to encourage more people to come over to this side of the zoo, I think we will put a little pony ride and pretend it's our caribou right here. So let's go ahead. We are going to cut down on the number of caribou we have dramatically pretty soon. Let's see, how much is the pony ride here? Okay, so I think I wanna put the pony ride kinda like right here. Can I move it once we put it down? Or is this like a terrible, terrible mistake? I can move it, yes, okay. So next up, that's a fence, good to know. I need, yeah, oh, that, yeah, I wanted the fence, there. All right, so how far over do I need to? All right, put you right here. I did that, oh, look, you can do that in turn, okay. You're not supposed to, I think, but we'll just use it as an outline. 
for just a minute. Mm, nope, we're gonna have you put it this far and then this far. Okay, so now we know where to put it. Hopefully people will come and use it because I think it would be amazing to see people on the little the little caribou ride. It's not a Shetland pony ride, it is a caribou. Caribou, a uh, calming caribou trot, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and we'll get a little alpine, alpine sort of biome going on over here. Oh, that looks nice. There we go. We should spread that, spread that around a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. In fact, let's spread it around in here. Oh, that looks so much nicer. Oh, thank goodness. I think that the, the caribou will be fine with it. There you go. All right, and then let's get a little bit, a little bit of this mixed in. So nice. So much greener, so much more covered in lichen and mushrooms like they like, lichen and mushrooms even. All right, there we go. And so we'll put the pony ride right there. And yeah, I'm trying to, if you can't tell in turn, I am trying to take good care of and update certain neglected areas of the zoo. I'll admit it. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put that right there. Too bad it's not a double, a double wide um, arch. I, I do prefer the double wide arches because they can go over two spots but when they only go over one spot like that it is a-okay because we can get out some pretty pretty flowers let's see what kind of beautiful alpine plants we have to choose from Ooh, I didn't think about putting down a tree though a tree might be kind of cool too let's see so it's uh, alpine mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, the mountain pines yes mountain pines We'll put some of them down. Ooh, and actually it would be good to sprinkle some mountain pines along here so that you've got them while you're on your little your little caribou ride. Hopefully this will be a good thing. If the animals don't like it, we're, we're scrapping this. The animal's well-being comes first and foremost in all of this. Ooh, and the alpine sea holly. Ooh, and the elder oh, I love it, it's so pretty. See? All right, that's not bad. We'll sprinkle some down there. Sprinkle some over here. I forget how much more is available to us once we actually uh, manage to to get involved in higher level greenhouse cells. So we definitely need to go through and update like everybody, all of the exhibits. And there we go. Mm, some spear grass. We'll put that over here for these guys. And back to, ooh, the Larkspur, yes please. All right, there's Larkspur. We could, we're probably going to expand this area, so I'm gonna leave that be. And we'll do that and that to make it a little bit easier. Come over here and we're gonna name this, instead of Shetland Pony Ride, it is going to be Caribou Trot. And will make the prices low to encourage people to come and interact with the animals. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, hello, sir. Are you going to be the first person on Caribou Trot? I highly recommend trying it out. Come on over. Uh, let me get let me get you some nice benches. Let's see, should we use the normal benches? I think we should use some themed benches. Come on, sir. Right over here. You know you want it. Come on, guys. Caribou trot, caribou trot. It's cheap. I hope people use it. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just something kids are more interested in, perhaps. Huh. Well, in turn, I guess we, we've built something. That's the great enigma of the zoo. If you build it, will they come? And in this case, I don't know. So we're gonna have to just keep an eye on this and see if anybody comes by and decides that they do want to try out our awesome little caribou trot with our amazing diverse host of caribou. Look at them. Oh, look at them go. The males are definitely having a little bit of a fight. So we definitely need to work on getting, uh, getting their area a little bit more secure. And let's put down some fences with windows so you can see into Caribou Trot while you're in there. Come on, sir, you know you want to try it. You know you want to try it. Ah, well, and now the Spix Macaws are very thirsty and hungry and we're probably gonna have to go adopt out several of them if we're going to have the resources we need in order to expand the penguin area. Oh yeah, and take care of the, um, 
and take care of that really awesome temperate forest aquarium we were working on and got distracted from. <sighs> well, intern, I will see you bright and early in the morning and we'll have to see if anyone tries out our little caribou trot uh, station or not, because that'll be fun. Maybe we need to put down some pathing in here. I'll try putting down a little pathing in there and see what happens. All right, intern, I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.